morning everyone. I am here, we are in South Florida, we're in Boca Raton. And whenever I am here in Florida, as you guys, oh, you're licking my feet, okay, you're tickling me. Um, as you guys know, when I'm down in this area often and I get to see the lovely Melissa, better known as at MelissaFit on Instagram. Um, and yes, we are in her apartment today and she is the queen of yoga tips and stretch moves and all of that fun stuff. So I am going to learn from the pro. So everyone meet Melissa and you can say a little bit about what you do. First of all, I'm so excited Nicole is here today. Um, we connected a few months ago yeah. and I've been waiting for her to get back down here so we could do some yoga together. Um, she was telling me she really loves some of my tips about yoga for bloating and digestion. It's so interesting because sometimes we don't think that we can do stretches to help naturally cure the things that are going on with our body. But yeah. I have five stretches that if you're feeling bloated or your stomach hurts or you're having trouble digesting. Story of my life, yes. This is going to make you feel amazing. Amazing. So we're going to do some stretches, um, all things de-bloating, feeling better. And then we are also going to see what a go-to meal or go to breakfast for Melissa is like because I'm just always I'm such a smoothie queen I'm always just so curious to see what people are eating for breakfast so and I like to do yoga in the morning and I feel like a nice breakfast is super important for after that um and yes and these are her pups and yes. so they will be making cameos in our video today <laughs> this is Brady and Rocky <laughs> so funny so yeah so without further ado we are going to learn some stretches. Let's get on our mat and let's get stretching. All right, so we're on our mat and the first pose you wanna start with is a child's pose. You always wanna start with something super simple and something that's gonna release all of the muscles instead of tense everything up. So you're gonna take your toes together, knees about mat width, the wider the better because we're gonna to try to relax the abdominals. So take a nice deep inhale and reach up and on the exhale, you're gonna go ahead and gently fold over and let your fingertips spread onto the mat. Now, instead of holding energy in your core, just let it hang in between your legs and just take a nice deep inhale. And on the exhale, just reach a little bit further out through your fingertips. That's gonna give you that nice length and you're just relaxing all those muscles. So this is a great place to start and you can stay here for 10 breaths, 30 seconds, however you want to count it. I definitely would try to at least stay here for 30 seconds because it's really going to relax your core and let all of those muscles melt into the mat. Love. <sighs> Whenever I'm in yoga, oh my god, I have a fan base. <laughs> They're obsessed with you. Whenever I'm in yoga, like honestly, after doing child's pose for a few minutes, like my legs, everything starts to hurt. But it just shows how much tension I have that it all needs to be like released. So it's like I should do this every single morning. It's so easy, and not only is it great for digestion, it's great for so many things. Yeah. So really, like you said, it's a great way to start the day, and it's gonna help relax the core. Yeah. So the next one is one of my favorites. It's called a sphinx pose. It's so gentle and it's so great for stretching out the middle region so a lot of the times we're feeling all those cramping and knots and a simple sphinx pose can really help that so you're going to go ahead and lay on your stomach and we have our little helpers here that we're going to ask yeah. to gently move to the side yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, I'll, you're, I'll <laughs> and you're going to go ahead and place your elbows um, shoulder width apart and a great way to test that is just grabbing opposite elbow and then place your palms flat and then you're just going to go ahead and lift up. Now, the most important thing to know is in yoga, you can't just hang out here. You really have to engage. So lift your chest up, pull your shoulder blades back, and root the tops of your feet into the mat. And just lift up here. And as you inhale, lengthen. And as you exhale, reach a little bit further. And you'll really feel that. So this really helps with digestion? This helps with digestion because you're going to be lengthening so out like your this. Core. So you want to go ahead and grab opposite oh, elbows, elbows. elbows and now place your palms nice and flat on the mat. Yes. Spread out through your fingertips, really root down through all five fingers. Yep. And now see how you're sinking in, lift through your shoulder blades and you'll feel a big difference here. Oh now, yeah. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, push your shoulder blades together. And make sure you don't feel any of that tension in your low back. You should I feel it in my nice. stomach. Yeah, <laughs> it's a oh nice my stretch. My abs are if like... You, if you ever have a really big meal, this is a great one to do right away. It's gonna help you digest. Wow. Okay, so getting into form, it's the elbows out 
and then up. And the most important thing is make sure you're keeping your feet rooted down. So really press through the tops of your feet yeah. and almost try to lift your thighs off the mat. Oh, and yeah, yeah. So once you start engaging things, that's when you start to feel the benefits. A lot of the time we just think, oh, we'll plop into a stretch, but you really have to engage the muscles that you want to be working to feel that stretch. And I would recommend about 10 nice, long, smooth breaths here. And a great way to help with digestion is to just focus on breathing in through the nose and then out through the nose. So sealing those lips and just feeling that nice, calm, smooth energy. I'm going to do a little adjustment and see if you feel a difference. I'm sure our friends will, the dogs will love this. So pulling back like that. So really make sure you're lifting back through your chest. Wow, yeah. Oh, kissies. <laughs> I love you. Hi. So the next one is a lot of fun because you can do this in bed. Yes. You can do this anywhere. We're going to just go ahead and lie on our back. Now this is called a simple twist and twists are so great for the digestion system because it helps almost wring out your organs. Yeah. So really if something's feeling stagnant or there's a blockage, this is going to help getting things moving. See, we're going to bring the right knee in. And then you're going to go ahead with the left hand, gently bring it over to the left side, dropping the right arm out to a T. This is super gentle. This is what they do at the end of yoga. Yes. And actually there's all different types of twists. I like this one specifically for digestion because it's so gentle and it's really going to help break things up and really help your organs start to feel that nice twist. Super gentle. And then of course you're going to go ahead and switch to the other side. I would say, if you can, to stay a minute on each side. And every time you inhale, you want to bring your leg up, and on the exhale, twist a little bit more. But of course, if being on your back bothers you, it's really simple to do it seated. You could just bring your right leg over your left, reach up, and do a nice simple twist that way. But laying down feels so good when you're digesting. Oh my gosh, yeah. So we're going to get you to try it. Right, I'm going to take our little helpers. <laughs> Okay, so lay. So I do. So gently bring both knees into your chest first to start and really just rock around on your spine like a nice little roll. That feels really good. You want to make sure you don't pull in too hard, just nice and gentle. Whatever feels good for your flexibility range. And then when you feel nice and warmed up, you're going to leave your right leg in and okay. extend your left leg long. Now take a nice deep inhale, lift that knee a little closer. And on the exhale, take the left hand and bring the right leg over, bringing the left arm out to a T, and look over this way. That my pups. <laughs> so you can close your eyes. You can, some people cross their legs to have that pressure coming from the bottom leg. Yeah. But you just want to make sure you're just taking nice deep inhales. Every time you inhale, you want to lengthen. And on the exhale, twist a little bit more. And that's really going to help get that food digesting, especially if you eat something that doesn't agree with you. You want to make sure you're moving that through your system right. and twists are great for that. And there's so many different types of twists out there, but this is of course the most gentle and one you can do almost anywhere. So the next one is a little bit more dynamic, which is a lot of fun. This is a cat cow series. So this one's instantly going to make you feel a lot better. This is one that you could just do on your own and yeah. you don't need all the other ones because it's so effective. So you're going to come to a tabletop position and you want to make sure your wrists are underneath your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. This is a really common pose when you're in a yoga class. So you want to take a nice deep inhale and you want to lift up through your chest. And on the exhale, you're going to go ahead and round and gaze towards your thighs. And you're going to go through a few rounds of that and you want to time it up with your breath. So on the inhale, open. And on the exhale, round. This is going to really get things moving. And of course, it's lengthening and stretching out your core. So I would recommend doing about 10 rounds if you can. But of course, you can always add more or less depending on how you're feeling. The so cat cow, now that's how they usually start off yoga. So really, in a vinyasa flow class, which is a one specific type of yoga, you definitely lead up to different poses, but when you're targeting specific areas in your body, right. you can really do things in the order that you want. The way that we've done things today, we've kind of gone lowest to highest. Yeah. So we started in that child's pose, and then we're laying down in the sphinx, and then we went on our backs, and then we have one more after this one to finish off for one final 
deep blow digestion stretch that's a little bit i would say the most intense out of what we've done oh my goodness which one's that bridge pose Ah, uh, God, I love a good bridge. Bridge is so <laughs> nice. And of course you can make this restorative too. So if you have a block at home, you want to place under your back, you can yeah. lay there for like five, 10 minutes and feel great. But otherwise you can just go ahead and come and lay on your back. And a great way to measure is make sure your fingertips are grazing your ankles. That's how you know you're in the right distance. So once you've done that, go ahead, tuck your shoulders up and under, clasp underneath, and then press through your chest and that's very important because you want to make sure that you're not dumping into your lower back. You want to make sure you're opening through your chest. And this is going to be really restorative. It's going to get your blood flow moving. And you want to make sure you're squeezing those inner thighs in. We have a tendency to want to let it splay out. But remember, we have to engage. So we're engaging the thighs. We're pressing through the chest. We're rooting down through our hands. And then we just get to breathe. And I like to hang here for about 30 seconds, but of course you can stay for longer or you can put a block here. And then when you're ready, always come out nice and slow so that you don't disrupt all of those benefits you just did right in that core. And then always do a counter stretch when you do something a little bit more intense. So maybe bringing your knees in, maybe a happy baby, whatever feels good on that low spine. I'm not the best at bridges and I don't know if this does the same thing, but I love this. Is this in any way digestion? Yeah, that's a great pose. I think the hard thing is, is that um, a lot of people aren't as hypermobile. And so right. for some people, this could be really hard on the hip flexors. And so if this feels comfortable for you, I would say this is a great oh, yeah, pose. I could I take a nap like this. <laughs> like, I'm so comfortable like this. I don't know why. But bridges I've always had such a hard time with. Well, maybe we can do one right here yes, today. We, we are going to attempt the bridge. And you know what? I'm going to grab something out of my handy closet. That will help. That will help. <laughs> so what we're going to do, so lay down. Okay. Take your feet hip width apart and parallel. Hip width And I'll, uh, Sorry, I'll make sure the dust. Hip width apart. Got it. And now plant your feet. So bend your feet. And now reach to see if your fingertips are touching your ankles. So maybe bring them in a little bit closer. Perfect. They are here. Let's see. So bring them in even a little bit more. Yeah, perfect, right there. Now I want you to go ahead, squeeze this with your thighs, bring your feet in a little bit more. So we're, I'm gonna make her squeeze this with her thighs so she's forced to engage her quads here. Now go ahead, tuck your shoulder blades up and under and clasp your hands together, keeping the squeeze. Now, instead of just staying there, push through your chest to shift your chest toward your chin, keeping your feet flat. So nice. Chest to chin. So try to push your chest towards your chin. There you go. And relax your head down. Wow. <laughs> Do you feel a difference there? Uh -huh. So instead of feeling it here, when you press through here, bringing your shoulder blades together, you're really opening up your chest. And that's what makes it different from the one you love is that's not as much of a chest opener. Yeah, this is hard. <laughs> now root down through your hands, and you don't have to clasp your hands. You can just press them into the mat if that's easier. And slowly roll down, and you can bring your knees right in and give yourself a But hug. I see the need for the counter stretch, because you kind of feel unbalanced a little bit. Yeah, and that's a great pose to work on, because it really targets everything. You're strengthening your legs, you're opening up your chest, which Heart openers, chest openers have so many benefits beyond digestion and bloating. Yeah. And it's a great way to start your day to open up your heart, open up your chest, get the oxygen flowing into your lungs, and just feel amazing for the rest of your day. Oh, well, I feel amazing. And even though, I guess we should have probably eaten first, <laughs> but now I feel like I've worked up an appetite and I would love to see what you eat for breakfast. And then I'll probably have to redo these stretches. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, those were, as you can see, just so simple, so easy to do. It's kind of one of those things that, like, why don't we just all do it every day? You know, some of these health tips just take, like, five minutes of your time for such, like, a better health. And 
so that I'll speak for myself, I'll just be like lazy and not do it, but there's no reason why I shouldn't do those five stretches all the time. Yeah, and they're so easy to do, and even before you eat, like for me personally, when I wake up in the morning, you know, if I've eaten something unhealthy the night before, that's when my stomach hurts the most. Oh my gosh, yeah. And really, it's a great way to jumpstart your day. It can reduce your caffeine intake. A lot of these poses are really energizing, and I always say the first things you do when you get up should be to drink a big glass of water and to do five minutes of stretching if you can, because it's going to change how you feel the entire day. A hundred percent. All right. Well, we will see you guys in the kitchen. Let's go. Okay. So now we have a little breakfast by Melissa. Yes. So I just love knowing what people eat for breakfast because for me, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I'm... I for when I'm starving right when I wake up. <laughs> um, so I'm a queen of smoothies. Melissa, let you know we've discussed this of course in the past, but I want to hear more about what you eat and I'm gonna steal a grape. <laughs> so it's so funny because when Nicole told me she wanted me to share what I'm eating in the morning and kind of what a typical day looks like after I have my stretches or my workout, and I wanted to be true to what really goes on in my kitchen because I am not a great smoothie maker. I don't have a lot of time in the morning. My husband makes great smoothies, but he's usually up and out way before me. So for me, I have found an easy, simple breakfast is hard boiled eggs. And those you can make at the beginning of the week and you have them for the rest of the week and fruit. And I'm gonna explain why. I have my little plate here, but I'll put it. Here, I'll yeah. show it. <laughs> I'll do a little. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. So simple. I feel like this is my breakfast when I'm on like in Maui, but I mean, if you can see out, oh, you probably can't see out her window. The beach is back there. <laughs> um, but yeah, whenever I'm at like the buffet on vacation, you always go for the hard boiled. I always go for eggs and fruit, and I never, I don't really eat fruit. That's it's like my weird facts. I don't really. Yeah, eat fruit. it's so funny that you say that because. Really, I try to emulate when we were in Italy last year. I mean, breakfast is really just an array of stuff. So you yeah. get some like meat, you get some vegetables, some fruit. So for me, I love fruit in the morning because first of all, it is high in sugar and carbs. So although fruit is healthy, it's not something you want to overdo later on in the day. And right. it's filled with water. Watermelon is so high in water and yeah. grapes, they're so juicy that it will help to hydrate you because after you're sleeping all night, you're super dehydrated. And sometimes we think we need caffeine, but actually you're just dehydrated. That's what that headache and that grogginess is coming right. from. So having fruit right away is going to help alleviate a lot of that. And then the eggs give you protein. They're healthy, low carb, high protein, great yeah. energy and it'll protein and fat for sure especially after doing something like yoga you need or just any form of workout you really should have some protein definitely and it also it's great for people who like to eat a lot in the morning and for people who don't like to eat at all in the morning because it's very gentle on the stomach mm -hmm. it's not going to make you feel I, I have a bad stomach so for me if i eat too much in the morning i feel sick and so this helps me feeling fresh, light, and it sets me up for success for the rest of the day. Yeah, amazing. Um, do we have a little knife? I wanna oh. try one of these eggs. I mean, I've eaten like half the grapes in here. <laughs> yes. Refrigerator. So fun fact, these are the already um, pre-made hard boiled eggs. Um, it's cage free Eglin's Best. And I think they have a really great taste and they come in a bag and- Do you put like salt and pepper on them or anything or you just eat them as is? I think, you know, I think they already have, the, these ones, you don't need it because I think they already have a little bit of sodium, but when you make them yourself at home, I, I add a little bit of salt. Man, yeah, perfect. I love like red fruits in the morning. They're like super high in antioxidants. Yeah. Super like filled with water and hydration. Love. Mm. Well, my friends, this is a day or a morning with Nicole <laughs> and Melissa in the beautiful Florida. It actually was supposed to be like torrential downpour and a storm all day, but now it's sunny and beautiful. So we are going to finish our food. We are going to go do, you know, girl things, whatever it is that we do. And thank you guys for watching. And to see more about Melissa, you can find her on Instagram at Melissa Fit. I'll have the handle below and also um, your yoga page. Yeah, you can also head over to at Yogaspiration. It's a yoga inspiration page. If you love yoga and positivity, it's a happy place to be every day. Amazing. And then you guys can subscribe to this channel to see, oh, I'm sorry, puppy, <laughs> to see more of me and my friends, more of my adventures. And every time I'm in Florida, Melissa will be back. So yeah, we will see you soon. Subscribe. Bye.
Bye. Bye. <laughs>